lower yields and a weaker dollar is in general a recipe for the stock market to go up. All right. So again, risk on the lower yields. Basically, that helps with people making the decision. Do I want to put my money in stocks? Do I want to put it in crypto or do I want to put it in bonds and get X amount of interest? Today, we got CPI data. All right. We've had positive news on Bitcoin in terms of ETFs, uh, spot ETFs, multiple filings for ETFs. Pro trader Gareth Soloway is set to kick off his stream with a discussion on the upcoming release of the CPI data. Amid widespread speculation on its potential impact, Gareth has meticulously prepared trading setups to navigate through various possible outcomes. CPI data for June, released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, has sent ripples of optimism throughout the Bitcoin and crypto market. The Consumer Price Index, which measures inflation, increased 3% from a year ago, which is the lowest level since March 2021. On a monthly basis, the index, which measures a broad swath of prices for goods and services, rose 0.2%. The U.S. dollar suffered substantial losses on Wednesday after the U.S. Consumer Price Index for June showed the rate of inflation slowing to the lowest level since 2021. The U.S. dollar index could be seen at 101.6 after falling by more than 1.6% over the past week from 103.3. Gareth Soloway highlights that a decline in yields and a weakening dollar often create advantageous circumstances for stock market growth. He said in the context of CPI News, there have been encouraging developments in the realm of Bitcoin. Following the release of the U.S. CPI data, the price of Bitcoin experienced a rapid rally, surging to $31,000 in a matter of minutes. Soloway recommends closely monitoring the $31,000 level in Bitcoin. He anticipates that a decisive break above this level could signal additional upward momentum, potentially leading to an initial target around $35,000. This target represents a substantial increase of over 10% from the current price. Bitcoin traded around $30,400 early Tuesday, fading from its overnight peak of $31,032. Bitcoin rocketed to $31,411 on June 23rd, its highest level since last May. BTC held above its $30,000 level the past week after diving below $25,000 on June 15th for the first time since mid-March. The world's largest cryptocurrency bolted 83.6% so far this year. According to Gareth Soloway's prediction, breaching a particular trend line to the downside would indicate a potential downward movement, with a target around $26,600. On the other hand, Gareth points out a noteworthy resistance level at around $45,000, which could represent the maximum upside target in the near future. We'd like to share a few highlights from the discussion. But before we continue, remember to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to receive more updates. Even on today's CPI number, what type of move are we getting out of Bitcoin? I mean, what, like, really? This is the, this is the little uptick we're getting today on the daily chart. Now, listen, this is still a bullish consolidation pattern. It's one of the longest bullish consolidation patterns I have seen in my career in crypto, as well as even in stocks but it is still inside of the 30,000 to 31,000 range. So it still is slightly bullish, okay? But it continues to irk me. Why hasn't all this positivity, all this risk on behavior causing, why isn't it causing us to see a breakout on Bitcoin? Okay, now again, I think once this does, if this, I should say, if this breaks out, you're going to get a big move. I have an upside target. First target's around 35000 So you're talking another $4,000 up. That's over 10% up. But it has to do it. And we've had good news after good news after good news for Bitcoin specifically in terms of ETFs, not being labeled a, a security by the SEC, um, all of these other things. I mean, MicroStrategies bought a ton more Bitcoin, all of these positives. And we've still been stuck at the same level we were in April. So again, as a trader, as an investor, all you need to be focused on is the 31,000 level here. Let's see if we close above it, right above this area here. Or on the bearish case, do we close below this trend line here? If we close below, I'll show you where we're going to go. All right, we're going to go right here. 
this is going to be your target. Basically, 26,600, give or take. That's a classic trend line that is a no-brainer. So again, break here. We go here. If we move to the upside, then I think we head towards this area right here, right around 35,000. Your max upside, by the way, on Bitcoin would be this area. In fact, I can go back even further here. Bear with me as I draw this in. If we take this pivot high here, look at this beautiful pivot and trend line. Look at that. That would be your your that would kind of be your maximum upside that I could see in a short amount of time on Bitcoin would be about this 45,000 level. You can see trend lines here, it touches these lines, and that's where we had a big breakdown. That could be a retrace to that level. So we are seeing the dollar decline. The dollar has now had a one, two, three, four, five candle decline on the daily chart. We are coming towards support though. And again, this is important because this is directly relatable to how the stock market performs, right? We know that a weak dollar right now is a positive for risk assets. And notice this, five bars down, generally we've been seeing the stock market inching gains. We saw gains yesterday in the stock market. Today, pre-market going into the open, we're also seeing gains. But again, keep in mind, this could tell us the fact that we're coming into this pivot low from April this could tell us that we're going to see some sort of bounce in the dollar, which could bring stock prices in just a little bit. Weakness in the dollar also supported the yellow metal. Gold price formed a support base above $1,900 against the US dollar. The price started a steady increase above the $1,920 and $1,925 resistance levels. Gareth Soloway predicts that as we approach the end of the year, there is a possibility of surpassing the previous all-time highs in gold. He envisions gold reaching levels of $2,100, $2,200, or even $2,300. This projection indicates an optimistic outlook for the future performance of gold. Silver is currently demonstrating stronger performance relative to gold. Based on Gareth Soloway's analysis of the charts, it is indicated that if silver manages to reach the range of 24.35 to 24.40, it is expected to encounter resistance at that level. This resistance could potentially lead to a subsequent pullback in the price of silver. So if we look at gold here, okay, here's a down sloping trend line, pulled back, broke out, and then look what it did. It retraced to the scene of the crime. What has gold done since then? It has started to move to the upside. So again, we're seeing gold beginning to move up here on the charts. And again, that again signals that support level, a retrace to what I call the scene of the crime. That again is a bounce off of it. And gold again is up today. Why is gold up? The dollar's down, right? I mean, that's, that's the basics of it. So again, in terms of the gold chart, where are we looking for this? So I've called ever since we were at this high, I've said to people, and I've said it in this broadcast. In fact, if you go back two, three, four weeks, every single week we talk about gold. And I kept on saying, guys, it should pull back to this trend line. Well, it finally did. And then I said, okay, now you're looking at upside potential. Now you're looking at maybe a move and a breakout above the all-time highs, which if we put a trend line in here, we can clearly see, look at this. That's your all-time high, high level. So the way this works, education, here we go, education 101 in investing. You have a high pivot and you pull back. When you hit the high pivot again, probabilities, that's known as a double top, you get a big pullback. Big pullbacks off double tops. When you hit a triple top, it's a small pullback. And usually you'll come up and break out at that point. So again, the idea here is that we've gotten the shallow pullback in gold. My guess is this is the beginning of a bigger move up in gold that we should take out by year end this all time high. And actually, I wouldn't be surprised to see 21, 22, even 2300 by year end on gold. Now, silver is a little trickier of a commodity to gauge. And I want to show you this, guys. So when we had a pullback on silver, it was a much more dramatic pullback. Look at how you have this line. This is almost the inverse of the gold chart or the yield chart that we were just looking at. You have an upsloping pivot to pivot and we broke below it. So what does this tell us? It tells us that if you get back up to this $24 level, $24.35 to $24.40 on silver, this is probably a level that you're going to pull back off of. All right, now you might say, well, how does that mesh with what gold is showing us, right? I mean, if gold is showing us that it could be headed higher, why would silver be going up and then pulling back? And the answer is twofold. Number one, gold could go up as well with silver on this, on this move. And then 
gold could just have a small pullback, you know, like a three day small minor pullback. Silver could have a much bigger pullback. The other thing to always remember on silver is that it's an industrial metal. So as long as this this soft landing narrative is in play, silver is going to outperform gold to the upside. All right, you're going to see bigger moves, and, and you can see that today, right? I mean, today, silver is having a move of 2.35%. Gold is only up right now 0.6%, right? So there's obviously a huge difference there. Silver is outperforming gold. Following the release of the CPI data, the total crypto market capitalization currently sits at $1.15 trillion, with the key barrier at $1.16 trillion expected to be breached. If the breach is successful, it could serve as a bullish signal for the rest of the crypto market as well. However, inflation coming in at 3% could give the cryptocurrency a boost in an upwards direction. We encourage you to share your views in the comments section. If you found this content informative, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for the most up-to-date news and videos. Thanks for joining us.